Hello, my crafty friends. Every, everyone's having a very nice day. I have a huge haul that I need to show you guys. Um, this is actually the fifth haul that I have received from the lady that um, passed away, and her daughter's been trying to get rid of her craft supplies. And she happens to work with the sewing factory lady. And we all um, have met each other, and the girl uh, decided that she wanted to give me this stuff. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'd rather give you some money for it. So um, I've been giving her like 40 and $50 a week for the past three or four weeks. And um, I've been getting like quite a few thousand dollars worth of merchandise from her. Most of this is unopened stuff. Um, her mother was into beating and making angels, and she sold some of that stuff. So she had a very huge uh, craft room by what the, the girl's been telling me, and um, actually had a building full of stuff. So I don't know how big the building is. I've never seen the craft room, but... Um, She's been giving me carloads of the stuff, and I've been going to the bank on the mornings that we meet each other and uh, pulling out like $40 and giving her $40 here or, or $30 there, you know, because I, I do would like, you know, buy it from her, you know, and give her some money out of it. But, oh, my gosh, you talk about a deal today? Oh, my goodness. Um, her mother... Last week, I ended up with the crystal baubles, like like you buy at Michael's and um, Dollar Tree. Uh, she was into those big time, and um, but hers were nicer quality, and they're vintage, so they're they're not like made the way the Dollar Tree ones and the Michael's ones are. They're better quality, and um, she had pearls galore. I mean, pearls everywhere. I've got enough pearls and gold beads to last me forever. Um, she had uh, filigree, and I mean, it was a ton of filigree. Um, probably about a thousand dollars worth of f filigree. I mean, it's it's. I've got filigree running out of my ears. Anyway, I didn't have time because I was, you know, been dealing with my mother, and so these these missing hauls that I didn't show um, on YouTube, I just didn't have time to show the haul or um, share the haul because of everything that's been going on with me and all but this will be my last haul because I'm having you know the surgery next week so I won't be able to do any more hauls but who knows uh, maybe my husband will meet her next week and uh, <laughs> I buy him some more <laughs> oh my gosh I hit the jackpot today boy did I hit the jackpot and I am I'm really tickled that I have actually inherited this woman's craft room. I feel honored. I really do. I feel honored that I'm that she's given me um, this stuff for cheap, and you know, actually was giving it to me. But I wanted to pay, you know, pay something on it to make her feel, you know, if, if just for the gas and time alone, you know, and stuff. So, but I mean, she has really, really hooked me up between the sewing factory lady and and. Um, which her name is Corey, and then the um, other lady, her name is uh, Barbara, and uh, very sweet ladies. And we've we've been meeting each other, and like on a certain day, she'll they'll call me in advance, and they'll say, let's let's meet at the donut, uh, Krispy Kreme donuts, or Dunkin' Donuts, or um, let's uh, meet at. Uh, McDonald's and have a cheeseburger or, or something, you know, so we we had breakfast this morning. I had a um, bacon and cheese croissant and uh, I had to go get some labs uh, for the from the hospital, you know, pre-op stuff. So um, I'm, I met them before I went to go get my labs. Anyway, this is one crate here that she gave me. Well, she didn't give me. I, I did pay, actually paid for it, but um, you might as well say she gave it to me because I'm, I'm serious. This this is a lot of stuff. In here is like nothing but crochet doilies or a do like a crochet. And I know how to crochet, so there's like a, a crochet kit and um, crochet uh, coasters. It just, all it has is the pattern on the back and the the yarn. And I know how to crochet, so maybe I can work on some of those. Um, she did, had a lot of these. I mean, I've got bukus of them. 
three dollars and seventy six cents and I mean it's like it shows you how to do the ornaments so this is the kind of uh, crystal stuff that she had and I mean she bought them apparently she bought some of the kits like the kits and enjoyed it so much that she decided to buy like larger quantities of it and do do the stuff herself so I've got patterns to go with this stuff and you know even ideas in my own head but look at look at this okay let me take this out this is a uh, some of that sugar and cream so I got a scan of that and definitely will use it because I do crochet look at all these doilies oh my gosh some pipe cleaner um just Battenberg doilies so there's like this this dolly here um that one look at that one that's pretty that's really pretty and then like there's this big dolly here and then there's a heart dolly and uh Battenberg lace dollies I mean just I'm just gonna sit here and toss them and let you see what I've got here it's packages and as you can see they're all new never been used she just bought them by the lot bulls when they were on sale and I mean some of them were 74 cents dollar ninety seven two dollars three dollars I mean just dollies everywhere so those are like Battenberg type uh, dollies and then there's like these crochet dollies and I mean look at this look look at this all, all down in this whole thing is nothing but dollies and then there's some smaller doilies like these, which I think they are really, really pretty. Look at those. So I, you know, that that was a deal alone. Um, then there was these vintage doilies. Look at these. Aren't these pretty? Oh, man, I like these. So she's got the paper lace doilies, and there's three different sizes that she has here. Um, small, medium, and then she's got some, like, larger ones. They are beautiful. I mean, they just... You can tell they're vintage. They're not of today. And, uh, or like I said, her mother passed away, um, I think a few months ago. And she is just now getting out there, because it was too cold when she passed away. And she is just now getting out to her mom's house and uh, trying to get it cleaned out um, so she can rent the house out. Look at that one. That's pretty. But anyway, this whole container, and I got the containers, too. That was the good thing. I got containers. So I don't have to go out and buy any containers. Thank God for that. Because um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I mean, I'd have to go and buy some stuff. Because there's just no way I can condense it. I've been condensing stuff for months now. And not even had time to hardly even craft. Because there's been so much of it. I mean, it's, 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 I've got a, a craft room. I'm literally a big, huge craft room. Um, then in this box here, this this little box here that she's got. So I got some totes with it. Thank God I've got these totes because I don't know how in the world I would be able to put this stuff away. I am going to try to condense it down though. There's like wooden balls, um, spools, wood spools. Then there's like a little doll kit. So look at this that you can make the doll, a uh, wood, uh, wooden spool doll. So she was really into the kit stuff. But there's a whole bunch of these uh, wooden doll kits. And I don't necessarily have to use them for the um, wooden dolls, I can do something else with them. So, but look at this. All of that. That's that's like brand new packages. Never been opened. Then there's this one here. And in this one. Let's see. I've got some, some little flower type of uh, trim in there. I thought it was pretty. Um, all of this is pretty much so... Um, few little tassels some of that but mainly safety pins so there's a whole bunch of safety pins in this box and yes I will use them because I used to do that kind of work uh, crafting um, years ago with my husband's uh, grandmother before she passed away she had a craft room and she was into the beading stuff so when this lady came across uh, came in uh, into my life and when they mentioned beads I was like what beads ah yes <laughs> you know because when um my husband's grandmother passed away unfortunately you know the family members uh my, my husband's stepmother I think it, or mother or, I'm not sure which one it was uh, step, yeah stepmother she gave all the craft stuff to his sister and the sister went and put it on eBay 
So we were kind of, I was like, oh man, you know, I wanted that stuff because I was disabled back then. But anyway, there's some brand new bottles. I mean, it's pretty much almost full. It's up to there. So it's, it's almost a full bottle. And look at this, never opened glossy accents. Still in the package. And alcohol inks. And we know how much alcohol inks are. So there was like, she was crafting right on up until she passed away, basically. I don't, I, I never did ask her what her mother passed away from. There's snow text here, um, micro beads. I've got two of these snow text, and I opened one up, and they are in good, you know, still usable. Um, they were basically brand new, never had been used. So this right here alone this little bag here that was in the the uh with the containers that that right there is a good forty dollars right there if you don't buy it on sale but as you can see over here there's some appliques there's um these little uh felt butterflies you cut out more crochet doilies um she gave there was a ton 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 of spools she's got all kinds of sewing spools so um I got those. I had to put them in some Ziploc bags. Oh my gosh, I had a fit over these. I am so tickled. Well, I'll show Wait, let me get the doilies out of the way first. Look at this. More doilies. And look at that. Whole pile of doilies that she even bought. So, there's all these doilies here that I've got. I'm just tickled of getting the doilies. Because you know how we are with our doilies. And the appliques. And, um... Let's see here. There was, um, I went into the thrift store too, so there's a few things that I bought from the thrift store. And this was a uh, dollar, and they're brand new and never been used, and I, I found that at the thrift store. And then there's like, I found this at the thrift store, and I found the, the creamer dish with it. And this, this is 1800s, definitely. And um, I can tell it's ironstone. So I bought that. And um, there's there this little cute little baby shoe that I bought. And I think I paid 50 cents for it. Yeah, 50 cents. So I'm going to clean it up and um, alter that. And then there was just, you know, some little nitpicky stuff in with uh, there's this teddy bear applique. That's cute. Um, some lost and found um, jewelry. Some. Uh, frosty looking connectors or whatever you call them um there's a cross kit and then there's beads over there and um there's a bracelet ton and ton of beads there's like nine packs of these butterfly beads i don't know where she got them from she got maybe the dollar tree or somewhere i don't know but there's there's just a bunch of them and they're little bu butterflies a little acrylic butterflies and um here, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this, Be, uh, fringe trim, all different colors of fringe trim, blues, um, just different colors, look at that, and it's all fringe trim, and then there was, um, what was in this bag of the beads, there was some loose ones, and I had to put them in a jar, but that's what they look like, so I ended up with um, 37 packs of, of these um fringe trims, and I was like, oh yeah, that's a good deal, and then, um, there was this, uh, little pack of felt flowers, um, some little crocheted flowers, these little felt flowers here, um, some little snap thingy, and then over here, well, there's some little nitpicky pieces of stuff, just like fasteners and all that stuff, I'm not sure if I'll keep that or not, I might, and then right here, she's got ribbon, and I mean, it's like uh, the gross grain, gross grain, grain ribbon, which I didn't have much of. And then there's some satin ribbon. That's a 200-yard roll right there. I have never heard of 200-yard rolls, but they do actually have 200-yard rolls. And there's 200 yards there, and there's 100, about 75 yards on this one. That's gross grain, and that's gross grain. That's 75 yards. Um, that's 100 yards there, and then there's uh, 100 yards of that. Um, then there's like 5 yards of this grass grain, 20 yards of these. And I don't know what the heck this is. It's kind of sticky on both sides, but it's got texture. So I'm like, okay, um, I found that at the thrift store. But anyway, I got all of that, 
Then I ended up with these transfers, and I know these suckers are old. Um, they are definitely vintage, um, clever pixie motives, and they're um, hot iron transfers, and they are so, so cute. The, I mean, it's, it's um, enough design, good for several stamping, so you've got uh, several in a pack. Some of them were not even opened and have, haven't even been used yet, and some have. And there's like the Humpty Dumpty, and then there's the, um, this is cute, this is Dottie the Duck. And, uh, you know, like I said, there was one pack, or two, one or two packs that had not even been opened. Yeah, this is one. This one here. Look at that. It's never been opened. And look at that. Isn't she adorable? Oh, gosh, I love, love, love. And then there's this pack here. And then there's, like, this pack here. And I'm going to have a field day for this. I, these transfers are awesome. And then there's this cabbage strawberry patch girl. I remember this. So this is definitely, that is from the 80s. So I don't know. These might be from the 70s, late 70s or 60s. I have no idea. I, I, I know I've, they're old. They're definitely not um, of today because they were on clearance for 33 cents in Roses. And the Roses store, um, we did have a Roses store here. And they closed in, the, I think, um, in the right before 1980 or the early 80s, they closed down. So um, I have no earthly idea, you know, what age these are. But anyway, there was like nine or ten packs of that. Then I got this this container here. Oh my gosh! Look at this. This is a large container, and it is loaded. I'm not even gonna pull it all out. It's just too much to go through. Look at this. The whole entire container is loaded with beads. Um, there's some resin birds um, here. Uh, bugle beads. Pearl beads. I mean, I, I ended up getting like tons of these, which are, um, I think they're 6 millimeter or 8 millimeter. There's some poinsettias there that she must have bought, never used. I mean, Pony beads, sequin beads, wood beads, iridescent beads, tri beads. I mean, it's just, you name it, it's in here. There's some of that lemonade. Look, look at this. Brand new, never been opened. And it is a full box, loaded, full of nothing but beads. So that right there, I don't know, it's, it's probably quite a few hundred dollars just right there alone. And then I bought, um, let me move this out of the way. Then I got this at the thrift store. I, I'm gonna, I hate to show that, guys. It's showing me sitting here. <laughs> I got this at the thrift store. I paid $9 for it. It's kind of like a, a wall shelf thingy. And then there's this one here, a door. It's a door that I bought. So I bought that, and I bought um, this. I don't like the mirror thingies. Let me cover that up. So anyway, this was $9, and that was $5 in the back. And I'm going to redo those while I'm sick. Um, I want to put um, my alcohol inks or my um, glitter or something. Uh, hang this on the wall and put, like, my glitters, my alcohol inks or... Um, the little small crafty things like your um, embossing powders and stuff, I kind of want to put in, in that and hang it on the wall. Then, okay, I'm going to slide over, um, tilt over sideways here. Another tub. This is, this is a huge, gigantic container. I mean, it's one of those storage totes. And inside the store, as you can see, it's packed to the very top. And inside, this one here is... I don't know if I can get it open. No, I don't want to open. It opened for me earlier, so. Okay. Doll heads. Tons and tons of doll heads. Um, wood doll heads. Um, real doll heads, like the angel doll heads. Just all kinds of doll heads. Large doll heads. More angel doll heads. Just different kinds of doll heads. Just a huge pile of them. And as you can see, they've never been opened and never been used. Then here is doll hair. So there is a whole entire container. I'm not even going to open it up. I'm going to do this whole entire container of nothing but doll hair. 
uh, all different colors. So that was a deal. And then there was this one here of Angel, the Angel Dolls. That's, that's what I call them. Three dollars and seventy-nine cents. And look at this. It's a whole bo box of them. Just a good size box of the doll heads. So I can make some um, crochet doily angel dolls. Um, whatever I want to do with these dolls. I mean, I'm just going to have myself a field day. Um, anyway, so that was that one pile here. Okay, the second pile is um, rhinestone and um, craft stones. Uh, no, eyes. So I've got all different colors, different sizes of eyeballs. The little um, crafting eyes. There's a whole bunch. I'm not even going to open it up, but you can kind of, because you know what rhinestones look like. But see there, there's like packages of, and there's some little angels under there. She was definitely into the angels. So there's like a pack, a thing of rhinestones. This here is, um, I'm not sure which one, what that was. Let me open it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, and here there was some, like, uh, I don't know what that is. Acrylic crystal. There's a crystal in there. Oh, okay. Um, look, oh, look at that. Look at that applique. Isn't that beautiful? A sequined angel applique. Pretty. I love that. Cord vault. And then there's, like, there's some trim there. And then here is, like, angel wings. Vintage Victorian angel wings. And, oh, my gosh, they are beautiful. Look at these angel wings. Aren't they gorgeous? They are really gorgeous. I haven't seen any like that before. I'm pretty sure they've... I mean, they're not, like, really old, old. I'm thinking maybe 80s, possibly. Somewhere around that 1980s when they came out with these. St. Louis trimming. I, I have to look them up. But look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? So all these angel wings. There's a whole box of different kinds of angel wings. Puffy angel wings. Um, look at that. Just piles of it. Angel wings here. Here's some little resin angels. Two unpainted uh, cherub faces. And you know who we, how we are. She even got into the angels like I got into the angels. So um, we had something in common. Um, I guess we were uh, crafters, kind of crafters where we enjoyed uh, doing the angel stuff every once in a while. But that's a whole box there of all angel wings. And then, okay, let me pull this out. I'm, I'm not even going to, usually I condense all this stuff down, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it in that room um, where I keep my laces at and, uh, because I'm not going to have time to condense this down this week. It's too much for me. I'm trying to get ready for surgery. And I just don't have the time to, to condense it all. So I'm just going to put it in here. This here is roses. All kinds of roses. Flowers. Brand spanking new. Never been used. Look at that. Pack after pack after pack of all different kinds of roses. And they're, um, they're most likely like fab fabric roses. I didn't see any paper roses. But still... Um, that's a good deal, you know, to have that many packages of different colors. So I got that. And then in this one here is all bells of different sizes. You name it. They got teeny tiny to ones this size. So there's a, a whole box of bells. This here. Oh, I was tickled when I opened this one up. I was like, ah, yay. As you can see, look at this. Trim. All kinds of gold trim. So now I'm back to having some more of this gold stuff. I mean, I've got a lot of it. And, uh, you know, you can tell she's used some of it, but she hasn't used it all. And there's a whole bunch. She's got it on rolls and everything. Look at that. All kinds of Christmassy trim. And gold colors and just you name it. So, I was really tickled about this purchase. I think I got a good deal on everything. Um, 40 bucks for this box. And, and what was over there, not bad at all. Not bad, bad at all. Um, look at that. Brand new roll. I don't know how many yards it's on there. It was originally 247. 12 feet. So, there's three yards on that. That. 
So, no, four yards. Four yards. But, you know, still, that's that's money that I've saved for buying from her that I will not have to worry about buying. And my craft room is packed to the brim. I mean, it's... Um, I fixed up my craft room, and which is in my dining room now. We moved it out of the den. And we bought some stuff. I uh, Hopefully, maybe one day um, before I have the surgery, I can do a little tour. Um, it's just a plain, simple little dining uh, craft room. It's nothing fancy. Um, you know, nothing. It's, I mean, it doesn't look like shabby chic, if you know what I'm saying. It looks more like a craft room. Um, it's got cabinets and the file cabinets and boxes that I keep everything. So it's not really. It's very neat and organized, but um, I'm pretty much so. Uh, it's packed. I mean, it's packed. I can't put any more in there. It's so tight now that I cannot even. Um, I can go in and find what I need, and, and you know, pull open a drawer and grab what I need. But I can't cram anything else in there. But I mean, for the price of paying for this, I mean, there's just no way I would have bought this at the craft store for this price. So, and, and a lot of this stuff is vintage. You know, there's a lot of vintage stuff in here, so they don't have it anymore, or they don't, you know, because it's out of style or something, which it's not really out of style, but, but basically they just don't carry it because it doesn't, it's not selling like it used to. Yeah, but, you know, people still look for them and still buy them, but they just don't sell in this quantity because there's so many other, you know, crafts out there now. Besides, you know, scrapbooking is kind of like taking over a lot of the crafting Um yeah, that's that's the new fad now is the scrapbooking. But um, you could still, you know, this is still look or altering things. You know, that's that's ba basically what a lot of us have been doing, altering things like little, um, like this little um, cabinet here that I found, and I paid nine dollars for that. But still, for the price, I I mean, I probably if I would have bought it new, I would have paid probably about. $39, $40 for it, maybe, or $29 for it, somewhere around there. So, I, you know, I wasn't too bad, and when I fix it up, it's going to be really pretty. But, um, this was my haul, and uh, I hope everybody, uh, uh, wish everybody a nice uh, week, uh, week ahead. I'm probably not going to be online anymore, um, because I got so much stuff I need to do before my surgery, and I'm going to be busy, you know, trying to get ready for that. And then after the surgery is done, I, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm, you may see me, you may not. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, I, I may have to get well, a little bit well, or, you know, before I get online. So, but I'll have plenty to do and keep, keep me busy. And it's kind of funny, it's weird, but for some reason I feel as if, you know, I don't know why I've been so lucky getting this stuff. I mean, I'm literally, it's like it's been handed to me on a silver platter and I've never, ever, ever before, and you know, when I got on before I got on YouTube, I was never finding any crafty stuff. And then when I decide I, I finally want to get a craft room, and you know, the cost of crafts, you know, the, the expenses of it, it's not cheap. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, it's like all of us, it, it, it's like I'm finding all this stuff, and it's it's being handed to me, or I'm getting it almost for, for dirt cheap, and. The craft room that I wanted to have, I finally did get my craft room. I'm hoping that I will be able to craft in it and enjoy it. Um, you know, with the diagnosis that I just was just given, I don't know what my outcome is going to be. So, like I said, I'll be waking up to the unknown. Um, but I'm praying that when I do wake up, that it's good news and I can come home and start crafting and start having a good time and enjoying myself. Now, this lady here that's given me all this stuff, this is, like I said, I've, between the sewing factory lady and this lady here, since June, which at the beginning of June, I have had five loads, five loads that are similar to this one that I have had to put away. And she's not even done yet. She's she's still in the, the lady's craft room. She's not even out in the building yet. And I'm like, what? You still got, you got stuff in the building, too? <laughs> I'm like, well, why don't you just invite me over there to the building? I got a pickup truck. I can load it all up and bring it home. You know. <laughs> but uh, she is donating some, I think, to the thrift store, too. So she's been donating some things. And then uh, since she knows that I, I like to craft, I think what she's doing is she's donating the stuff that's already been opened up and kind of, like, messed with. 
she's or it's you know maybe a couple yards here and a couple yards there she's donating to the thrift store and all the bigger stuff like this where it's in boxes and you know inventory almost um she's practically giving it to me and you know i feel blessed and i i, I thank god that you know, I was able to get this lucky to be able to have someone furnish me with, with such luxuries. And um, at least I can now, you know, like I said, I can sit, sit at home on days that I'm not feeling good. I can sit and, and craft and, and have myself a good time and enjoy myself and not, you know, think about bad things in life and um, get my mind off my illness, you know, and stuff. So, um I am going to mention some news also. I'm having trouble walking. Um, at the hospital today, I, I almost fell. And I was using a cane. And I almost fell three or four times. I couldn't keep my balance. So, um, I was told by my doctors that the surgery they did will help me to walk for as long, you know, for a while. But it's not going to be the permanent fix. And that soon, somewhere down the road, I'm going to probably end up in a wheelchair. And I see it coming. And I've been seeing it coming. And and I know you got a lot of you ladies are thinking, well, gosh, why is she buying so much stuff? Why is she doing this? Man, she must be a hoarder. Well, that's mainly one reason why I've been grabbing in large lots like this. Because I don't know what my future is going to bring me. And uh, if it means I'm going to be in a wheelchair, then I'd rather be in a wheelchair and be active and doing something in my mind than to be sitting around and uh, not have nothing to do. So at least I can make something and feel like I've achieved achieved something. I, I've i been expecting it. I mean, I, I've been seeing it. You know, I, as much as hard as I've been trying to get back on my feet, it just, it just hasn't been working. I mean, I have tried exercises, you name it. Um, getting up and down off the floor trying to build up my strength and muscles in my legs and it's just like I've gotten to a certain point and I got to that certain point and I can't go any further I just can't it's it's like it's not letting me go any further so when I do go out and start walking I've noticed when, when I get to a certain limit I can't walk anymore it's it's almost like I have to struggle and then I get scared because it's like Oh no, I can't walk. And then my legs start getting weak too behind the wheel of the car. And um, so I may not be able to drive too much longer either. So, you know, but um, at least I'm preparing myself for it and getting my, you know, a future ready ready for me. Where if I do have to stay home, at least I've got it here. And and you can order stuff online today. So it's not like, you know, I, I don't, don't live near a craft room. I can always order something, but... Why should I have to order anything when I got it all already that's practically been given to me? And um, one of these days, um, maybe before the surgery, I will show you my craft room. Um, I, I call it my junk room because there's nobody that sleeps in it. And, and um, it was a guest bedroom. Nobody ever sleeps in it. It's not getting used. So this is where I, I've been storing all my hoard vault stuff so i've got a huge hoard vault in that room and um if i have to if it goes to the ceiling i don't care it's on my it's my inventory hoard vault room it's my my toy room and you know i still have a, a, a two two other rooms you know that someone can sleep in so it's not like i'm because we have a four bedroom home so it's not like we don't have an extra room so i've just figured well why not use this room as my craft you know stock room so that's what I'm doing. Um, sooner or later, I'm going to end up getting some storage uh, metal shelves. I'm going to take the bedroom set stuff out of there and just have it at like a complete inventory room or, or stock room of all my craft stuff. And right now, I've already got two walls pretty much. So, or maybe three, possibly three. Yeah, close to it, filled up. So, you know, it's it's getting there. It's, it's getting where I'm going to end up having to say no more buying after a while but as long as i can afford it and uh keep getting deals like this i'm definitely going to take advantage of it well i hope everybody has a very nice week um i will talk to you guys later and hope hopefully um you know you'll see me soon but if you don't you know where i'm you know what's going on i'm you know trying to heal up and get well 
and that's that's basically you know if you don't see me around that's why I'll be around though I'm you know I'm do plan on coming back and um, when I do come back it will be with craft stuff that I've made and not hauls well y'all have a very nice week I will talk to you guys later on um, enjoy your summer love you guys bye bye